What's up, everybody? You know who it is. Fatboy Chronicles here with another video. Um, I just felt like man, I had to make this video. So we just got out of class like five minutes ago. I don't know where you were. You should have been here, but you do better next time, right? Okay. Make sure you're there. Uh, we made a pad thai pizza. So completely um, off the top, I just told him, hey, list of ingredients. These are things I know that I go in pad thai, but we're going to figure out how to make this pizza. So uh, we were all learning and cooking together. And it came out amazing, like like for real, for real, for real, amazing. Uh, so much so that I felt like, hey, I can't just leave this uh, out here um, for just the students. Hey, I want you all to partake in it too. So this is still on the keto pes pescatarian kick, right? So, you know, that's what I'm doing right now. Um, and so, um, man, it was so good, this keto. Like, it's, it was really, really, really good. So um, we're about to do it. Check it out. It's going to be the shortest video I've ever done. So, uh, hey, this is what you're going to need. All right, guys, this is what you need. So uh, we have our pizza sauce, right? Our base. Um, and here, this is all flavors that are very indicative of Thai food, Thai flavors, right? So we have some peanut butter. We have some uh, fish sauce, some soy sauce, some honey, all, right, all those good things. And um, everybody has their own little variation of it um, based on your own personal taste. All right, so mine is, uh, mine is strong on the curry because I, I happen to be a very uh, a big curry fan. But if you're not a big curry fan, maybe you want to leave that part out. All right, so we have some shrimp that we cooked. Uh, you know, it got those nice and dark skin, got a little, little Wesley Snipes on them, right? So you just put them in the skillet, leave them alone. And then we have some vegetables, some pickled vegetables. So if you watch my video when I made the crispy coconut caramel chicken, the same pickling that I did for that one, I did for this one. So you have some carrots and some jalapenos in there. And then you have your accoutrement, right? So we have some peanuts, some cilantro, and a little lime. All right, as you can see, just uh, put a layer of sauce down like you would with any pizza. We're going to come behind that with uh, some cheese, which I forgot to mention. But you're just getting a good Italian blend cheese. That's what I have here. Uh, and we're going to cheese it up. Right? You do any pizza, right? So cheese, sauce. Then we're going to do shrimp. Then we're going to do cheese again. And then we're going to top it, all right? Oh, and I did mention this crust. Y'all, this is a cauliflower pizza crust that is amazing. Um... I mean, it's like, you know, not that I've been, you know, eating cauliflower pizza crust long, but this is actually the first one I had, but you don't miss it. You wouldn't know that this is not flour. This is amazing. Uh, so, yeah, shout out again to cauliflower. Don't mind me. I'm just snacking on some of the shrimp because they're real good. All right, what I did, layer cheese, layer shrimp, and then I'm going to pop it in the oven. And then I'm going to top it with a little bit more shrimp and my toppings. So, layer shrimp. And cheese and then back in the oven 425 for like literally five minutes all right it's out the oven right looking all tasty and delicious all right so um that's just the cheese and the shrimp with that base of the peanut thai sauce all right so now we're done whole piece is done i'm gonna do is top it right so we have our pickled vegetables that we're gonna add make sure you drain the pickle juice off the pickling juice off and sprinkle on there and then we're going to add our cilantro and our peanuts and a few more shrimp and we're ready to eat y'all look at that boom keto pizza all right that's a pad thai pizza all right so i, I topped it a little bit with of course you know i gotta put some scallions on there because scallions go everything and then I also put a little bit more of that peanut sauce as a drizzle on the top so we're about to try it out see how it tastes all right, taste test. Well, I already tasted it, so, you know, I already know it's going to be good. And, you know, this is evidence right here because I got to stand on my shirt, you know. That's how you know food is good when you load your bit of dribble on your shirt. All right, so this is, has texture. This has um, a bunch of different flavors. All of these good things make this pizza really, really good. And it's really simple and really easy, right? This is good. Hands down, this is good. Um, I'm not gonna say it's healthy for you because I'm not, I'm not like a dietitian or anything like that. But I will say, you won't be as fat as you could be if you ate the pizza with the regular dough. I'll say that part. You'd be less fat. All right, let's just say that. All right, hey, try it out. Let me know how it tastes when you make it, and uh, I'll see you next time. All right, holla, y'all. Mm. Mm. That shrimp good too. Alright, I'll see y'all next time.